Hello, uh, welcome to the Western Libraries. My name is Jimmy Gesserndorf and I am a teaching and learning librarian uh, at the library. So this video is intended to give you a kind of very uh, uh, quick overview of some of our services across our library system available to you as a uh, new faculty member. Uh, so the library offers a wide range of services to our faculty members, students, and staff, and some of these services are online, so you can learn a lot about the services from our library website. Um, so let me take you to our library's uh, web page, which is um, library.ww.edu, so I can show you some of the things I'm going to talk about today. Um, so we certainly want to make sure that you know how to use, find, and access library materials. So I want to take a, uh, a few brief moments here to kind of go over one search and talk about some of the basics uh, to get you started. So OneSearch is our library's catalog and our main discovery tool, and it can be accessed through our library's homepage. Um, so you can use OneSearch to locate books, uh, journal articles, videos, DVDs, and so many different forms and materials the library has. And also OneSearch searches across uh, the physical collections of some other academic libraries in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, so the reason why this is helpful is if the library doesn't have the item you're looking for, um, you can always request it from one of our partner libraries in the Pacific Northwest directly to OneSearch without having to go to a different web page. So that's one of the many advantages OneSearch offers. Um, library offers uh, two different kinds of interlibrary loan services, uh, and both of them are embedded into OneSearch. So we will talk about them in more details later in this video. Uh, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time uh, on, on OneSearch today because there is a detailed uh, OneSearch orientation video that is linked to the slip guide. Uh, and you can learn more about my search from the orientation if you want. But I just want to show you um, how to do a uh, simple search on one search. So basically, you can search, uh, you, you can enter your keywords and search phrases in this uh, big search window here and hit the green go button and you will get your search results on the next page. So let's say I'm looking for scholar resources, some scholar resources on the mental health of young adults. Um, so I will enter my pre-prepared search result, search term here, and um, and then I'm going to hit the go button, um, and we should get our search results on this next page here. Uh, so here's our search results, and as you can see, uh, we have some ebooks, we have some journal articles, and we have also some print books. So uh, uh, and uh, and so on. So uh, mental health of young adults is obviously a, a well-researched and kind of broad topic. So we have over 94,000 such results, which is a lot. Uh, since one search searches across a lot of different places, uh, you will likely get hundreds, so sometimes even thousands of search results. Um, you search, uh, if you search under kind of very broad areas like education or sociology, uh, then it's likely you will get uh, even millions of search results. So that's why you kind of need to be specific with one search and use the filters uh, built within it to make sure you uh, make your search more effective. Um, and you will find these one search filters on the left hand side of your search results, in, um, and you, which you can use. Um, uh, to refine your search results in a variety of different ways. So, for example, um, you can um, you can use uh, these different. You, you can uh, refine your search results by different aspects, such as availability, uh, format, and subject, and uh, date, and um, physical location, and so on. Um, also, uh, you can use Boolean operators in OneSearch to connect your search results uh, to create a um, more effective search string. Um, so uh, if you look at these search results and uh, you see some of these um, uh, some of these links saying available, uh, which means the items, item, this item is accessible to you. Uh, if it's an online item, uh, you can access the item right now. Uh, if it's a physical item, then one search will show you uh, where exactly the item is located within the library, like uh, these ones. Um, 
So that's really kind of brief overview of OneSearch, but let us know if there is any questions about OneSearch that we can help you with. So now I want to talk a, a little bit about our subscription databases and journals. Uh, so you can access the databases from our library's webpage by clicking on this Research Tools drop-down menu and then a library databases link down here. Or you can access them through databases link uh, down here as well. Um, so let's click on the library databases link and this is where all our databases live. So from here, you can uh, search for databases in this window up here, if you know the name of the exact database you're looking for. And also, um, uh, the list down, this list down here provides all the databases in the alphabetical order. Again, you will have to know the name of the exact database you're looking for. And in my opinion, one of the best ways to access databases is from this drop-down menu because it allows you to find databases by their subjects. Um, if you are here for the first time and unsure where to go, this is usually a good place to get started. Um, now I want to show you um, how to access uh, journals. So um, you can uh, go back to our research tools drop down menu and, um, and we can just click on this journals link down here. Or you can access them directly through this journals link down here as well. So um, library subscribes to a lot of different journals and you can search them, uh, search for them in this uh, window up here or over here by their subjects, um, similar to the databases. Searching journals by subjects is usually the best way to explore them if you are just getting started. Uh, if there is any specific journal or database uh, you would like to recommend the library to subscribe, you can send us your request and um, I will talk about how to do that later in this video. So now I would like you I would like to take you to a different parts of our library website to talk a little bit about how to use our interlibrary loan systems. So Iliad is one of our interlibrary loan systems and it allows all our students and faculty members and staff to borrow from other libraries free of charge if the library doesn't have the item you're requesting. Um, Iliad works with a broad range of different libraries around the country and beyond. So we do our best to borrow any item requested to Elliot. Um, so you can access Elliot by clicking on this services, services drop down menu up here from our uh, library web page. And then you can click on this uh, borrowing from other libraries link down here. Um, so you can log into Elliot using uh, your universal uh, Western credentials uh, from our uh, web page here. Um, if you are using it for the first time, then you will be prompted to fill out a short form to create an account. Uh, and once you have done so, um, you don't need to do it again. Um, so I'm going to use my Western account here to access Elliot. So once um, you log into Iliad, you can see all these different sections uh, here for different functionality. Um, so if it's a physical item uh, you're requesting, it usually takes two weeks to arrive. And uh, in addition to requesting physical items, you can also use Iliad to request uh, uh, online items such as uh, uh, journal articles. And if that's the case, it usually takes a few hours for the link, um, uh, for the link to the item. Uh, to be delivered to your email inbox. Um, the request uh, can be done uh, from OneSearch side, uh, and OneSearch usually prompts you to request uh, items to Iliad sometimes when it's possible. Um, another way uh, you can use Iliad that I want to point out here is you can use it send, to send us um, your uh, purchase request to Iliad. So uh, let's say if you want a particular book, um, uh, you want us to consider purchasing for your request or, uh, or your, uh, for your research or for your, or for your course preparation, you can fill out this form right here and then send it to us and um, our collection staff at the library do their best to fill those requests as fast as they can. Um, if you want to be notified to email uh, when we receive the item at the library, uh, you can always leave your email address in the notes field 
and then we will send you an email once we have the item available. Um, so if you need a specific uh, journal um, or databases or that support your research your course, course, you would like the library to consider subscribing to this resource, um, you can send us your request um, using, using this form right down here. And then we can, uh, uh, we will follow up on that with you. If you send us your request by the um, end of fourth quarter, your request will be included in our subscription review process in the current year. So I want to talk a little bit about Summit now. So Summit is a uh, local interlibrary loan system that allows our students, staff, um, and faculty to borrow from our partner libraries for delivery to Western free of charge. Um, so our Summit partners include academic libraries throughout the Pacific Northwest. Um, you can use Summit to borrow physical items like uh, print books and uh, music scores and DVDs and videos. Um, Macrofor materials like Macrofish also can be borrowed through Summit. Uh, you can uh, manage requests um, and renew your Summit materials using your library account on OneSearch. Uh, and uh, Summit is fully integrated into OneSearch, so you don't have to open a, a different account to Summit. Uh, so this was a kind of quick overview of some of the library services, and I will talk about uh, workshop instructions in the next section.